Daryl, oh, we're all on together. Yeah, this is it. That's right. Okay. Great. <laughs> We've already started. Oh, we have started. Yeah. Great. So, hang on. Good to see you. Sure. Terrific. Yeah. Right. Now, tickets to this Hey Hey reunion show are as rare as hen's teeth. They are. Plucky's how, teeth. Yeah. How are you delegating the tickets? Um, we, I'm, it probably sounds terribly old-fashioned, but it seems to be the right thing to do for the show. We're asking people to write in mm. rather than email and all that. Uh, it, it, it's easy, of course, to do that, but it's it's just nice that people are writing in for tickets. Some people are just writing in and just putting, you know, give me tickets on the back of the envelope. Others are doing elaborate letters of what the show means to them and everything in the hope that we will, you know, it'll tug our heartstrings and we'll give them more tickets. So do you have them all out on the table, Australian Idol style, and then you're choosing the best uh, uh, yeah, candidates? I, I think what we're doing, uh, it's it, not necessarily first in, first serve, but there are lots of people who are diehard fans. And one lady wrote to us and said, look, I, you know, excuse the messy writing, but I've just, I had to do it so fast to catch the mail. And okay. this was on the, almost the day before we announced the, the <laughs> tickets. Uh, she was so quick off the mark. And, uh, and her comments about the show were lovely. So we'd probably, uh, I think she might get a Guernsey. Excellent. Well, we understand that they're but very... But we'll probably send them to the wrong address because the writing's so messy. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> I think she was Lix Dexley. We understand. I'm sorry, they dyslexic. are they are very rare. Uh, look, I'd, I'd love to come. I'd love to be part you of would, it. I'm so, sure you and, would. And um, I think I'm a pretty hardcore fan. I've got Mrs. Max picture on the back of my bathroom door. Have you though. really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if if you can state your case without me stating my case. I mean, I think I'm probably more deserving. I've got actually a picture of Mrs. Mac um, tattooed on my chest. Have you really? That's probably a little bit more serious than just the bathroom wall. I know generally radio viewers are going to find that hard to believe, but, you know, because of modern technology, we are online. Can we have a look at Mrs. Mac? Um, Would you uh, like to reveal uh, her? I'm, I'm not right. I'm, the station actually asked me <laughs> to put makeup over it in the event My that goodness, I if you're not that. online, you should see Mrs. Mac yeah. right <laughs> in the middle of his chest. And the, the navel area is her mouth. It's quite, it's quite, and her mouth is open at the moment. <laughs> You've got an innie, I just realised. <laughs> well, think, I think on the basis of that, I've been trumped. Uh, if well, you had to delegate one ticket between the two of us... I'd rip it in half. And, <laughs> and, and neither of you would get in. <laughs> Daryl, thanks very much for talking to us in Jeff, the Peanut Gallery. It's been yeah. a pleasure, and good luck with the show. Well, good on you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for having me on. And I, I think, as they say it's in the It's been nice being had. Should we just... Uh, was that what it used to well, be? Well, you, the... firstly, you put a cart in. With with applause. Oh. Okay, so we'll then, have done that. Yep. Then cut.